Welcome to the Human Computer Integration Lab at the University of Chicago. I'm Pedro Lopez and we have four new projects to you. The first one is called Seeing with Hands. I'm going to blindfold myself and use a sensory substitution device to try to grab that water kettle. So I can feel a small object. And I can feel a larger object over here. This must be the water kettle. There's a spout, a thinner part that I'm feeling, like a tactile texture. And there's maybe, okay. And there's the water kettle right there. The sensory substitution device is able to see from the hands. There's a camera that can see Romain right there, manning the camera, and transfer that into tactile pixels. This allows me to feel the world through the sensory substitution device. Instead of putting the camera here, we want the hand to preempt what is going to be felt in the world. This is a project done by Shenyi Wan Tang, together with Blind and lead co-author Jin Kim and Zed Liu. Let's go over here to show you a new project that we have about electrical muscle stimulation. As you can see, I'm hooked up and connected so my muscles can be stimulated from Yoon Ho's computer right here. She's going to teach me how to play a piano piece. Go for it. Start EMS. Okay, now it's my turn. Your to turn. The melody. Okay, now. In most projects using electrical muscle stimulation that are out there, the training regime is always the same. The muscle stimulation would kick in and do the exact same thing over and over again, like play the same pattern and teach me the melody again. Although, if you were hearing correctly, I actually got 50% of this melody right. So we should take that into account and bootstrap the muscle stimulation in a way that helps me just in the parts where I'm making mistakes. So we're gonna try this whole thing over again Play the muscle stimulation. Start EMS repulsion and correction. But now it's my turn. Whoa. Did you see that? This finger hit the wrong note. I got repelled from that and then I got corrected only when I made a mistake. This is a new type of system that helps you just in time so that we can actually get this X curve. As I'm getting better with my performance, the haptic assistance from the muscle stimulation is decreasing, decreasing over time. We found this actually teaches people better how to play muscle stimulation. Now let's go over here to the electronics wizard, Alex Mazursky. Alex has been trying to give life to objects that are otherwise passive. You can see here this box. This box is completely passive. It does not contain batteries. What Alex has been exploring is how can we interact with the world around us and give life to it without having to put batteries that have to be recharged over and over again every single time. So if I'm wearing this wearable power supply and I grab this box over here, this box can open. There you go. The box is opening and there's a little jack in the box. This demo is quite extreme because this wearable power supply is actually trying to power this very beefy geared up motor. But if you look inside of it, there's nothing in there. There's only a microcontroller and that motor. There's no batteries. So this is a whole new way that Alex has pioneered to touch and power objects on touch, only when we need them. Now, when we power the world without batteries, that's ecologically great, but we're still putting printed circuit boards and electronics inside every single object. Every time you put one of these inside of a device, you are creating an ecological crisis and contributing to that. So we're gonna also next, in the next project, explore how can we reuse these printed circuit boards so they don't end up in wee waste. Follow me for that one. Bruno and Yudai are playing around here with new projects as well. Then we arrive at our last project. This is Proto BCB by Jasmine Liu and Rishi. And this is a way to recycle otherwise unused electronics. So what you see here is a game console prototype that one of my students made in class. Instead of throwing this to the trash, we're gonna take the PCB and put a new project onto it. This project on this screen is a completely different circuit. This is an electrical tester circuit that our software has computationally matched and rerouted so that we can solder this circuit, this new circuit, onto the old existing PCB. This reduces the e-waste by allowing us to reuse and reuse all this trash as materials for electronics. I'll see you at Kai 2025.